You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the July 17, 2024 meeting of the LaPorte County Board of Commissioners. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. I'd like to call to order the LaPorte County Commissioner's meeting Wednesday, July 17, 2024. Recording in progress. Wednesday, July 17, 2024, 6 p.m. I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. And I would ask Steve, could, can you start? And I would ask if we could have a brief moment of silence for the uh, attacking Pennsylvania this week. And, uh, those whose those whose life was lost, uh, volunteer firefighter Corey Commodore, who gave his life shielding his family uh, when the assassination attempt on President Trump had failed. and justice for all. Roll call. Commissioner Gramarosa. Present. Commissioner Mrazinski. Res Present. And Commissioner Haney. Present. You have a quorum. Consider agenda. Uh, there are a couple items, uh, Madam Chair, to uh, add to the agenda here this evening. Um, uh, the first would be consider appointment of the animal shelter director. Uh, the second would be consider generator replacement at a juvenile services center. Third, consider approval to proceed with next two phases of rehabilitation work on the Franklin Street Bridge. Uh, fourth, consideration of a DEF contract uh, to facilitate DLGF and TIF area compliance uh, reporting for the auditor's office. And fifth, uh, consider placement of dehumidifiers in the annex building as today's reports came in at 81% humidity. I move to amend the agenda as such. I would. Uh you have a second for the thir first three issues, the animal shelter, the juvenile center, and the uh, Franklin Street Bridge. So, so is that a motion to amend? Motion to second the motion uh, to add those three. Oh, issues. you're amending his motion. Okay, I'm amending the motion but to add those three to the agenda. Okay, so we have a, a motion. So we have a motion. You have an amendment to the motion, and so you're going to need either a second or it's going to fail, or you're going to have to go back and do something else. So it fails for a second. Would you like to start again? Then we'll start over. Consider to add to the agenda uh, appointment for the animal shelter director, consider generator replacement for juvenile service center, and consider approval of the uh, to proceed with the next two phases of the rehabilitation work on the Franklin Street Bridge. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? No. I'll step down and I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay. Uh, Madam President, we also have one other that I just got this afternoon. A uh, request from the Encore Society to hold their annual uh, quarterly meeting at the LaPorte County Circuit Courtroom on Wednesday, November 20th. And this has already been uh, supported by Judge Alavisos. I make a motion that we uh, add that to the agenda. Do we have a mo we have a motion? Do we have a second? Do you have a copy of that? Yeah. Did you get an email? Unless it was within the past five to ten minutes. I'm looking to see if you... Yeah, so it's a request for the opportunity for the Encore Society, a group of about 25 who have included the LaPorte County Cir uh, Symphony Orchestra in their estate plans to hold their quarterly meeting at the LaPorte County Circuit Courtroom Wednesday, November 20th. I'll step down and I'll second that motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Moving on. 
consider approval for July 3rd, 2024 minutes. Motion to approve is presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Consider of uh, consideration of claims. We'll do payroll first. Commissioners, we have payroll for the period ending 7-12-2024 in the amount of $1,492,956.05. Motion to approve payroll as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Operating expense claims. Those would be in the amount of $3,402,044.47. Motion to approve, as presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Public comment is now open. Do we have anyone from the public? Is that where you can talk? How are you guys? I live at, uh, in Saugany Lake. I'm a business owner. I've talked to Rich about getting some gravel put in. You were there a year ago that we were going to solve that in two weeks. It's been over a year. Excuse me. Can you can you state your name? Justin for the record and address, please. It is uh, 5309 Iroquois. Thank you. It's 75 feet. We have cut all the trees. We've dug all the stumps. Everything is done. It's a dirt road now. I can't get a permit to build the house until... You or whoever say it's fine, Janice won't give me the permit. And I mean, it's three loads of gravel, and the road's done. There's a big enough area at the end of it for the trucks to turn around in the winter time so they're not getting stuck. So it's part of the unincorporated or the undeve undeveloped uh, roads, and so they would have to be vacated. And it's something that Scott has been working on. Our, our um, att county attorney. Why do we have to vacate it? I mean, it's... You plow, I mean, you're only plowing another 60 feet, and that's it. What are you Because we would be extending the road now, so yeah, it's been... Yeah, but now you're plowing the road right into my driveway, and you're going to plow it right all the snow to the end of my driveway instead of coming down another 60 feet and turn it around so they don't get stuck back and down the road. So, again, we can't... We can't do anything until we get the approval for from the county attorney, and the county attorney um, is still looking into that. So this is not so that, that takes over. Excuse me, here. one second. This is public comment, so it's not really a question and answer. Period. We can set something up because I quite don't understand what's going on. If this has been presented to some board or body or, or where we're at, so right. but this, you can make your comments. But that's pretty much it yeah. for tonight. So where do, where, where do I go from here? I mean, I've been working well, on this a year, and I still can't get anybody to call me back or anything. Well, so. I'll make sure to call you. If you leave your name and information, I'll speak with Mr. Pajak, and one of us will get back to you. Okay. Okay, and then? Here, you would leave me your contact information as well if there's going to be a vacated. We'll need to look at that through the plan commission probably as well. Okay. I'm assuming, Mr. Haney, it does have to go before the plan commission. I That's think, my assumption. Yeah, we yeah. think so as well. I'll need to look at it. All right. Don't forget to leave your information. All right. Is there a pencil in here? Oh. Here, you can use my pen. Don't steal it. Oh, you can take it. It has my name on it. In case you remember what it is. Okay, public comment. Do we have anyone else for public comment? <laughs> Winnie the Haney, 2695 West Joliet Road. Good evening. I want to set the record straight regarding my role in past elections. Let me be perfectly clear. I was not and never have been employed by the county. My contribution was solely through my dedicated work during early voting and on election day, just like many others who assist during elections. Despite not being a county employee, I fulfilled my duties diligently and with utmost commitment. It is, essential, it is essential to emphasize that I went through proper HR procedures to ensure fair compensation for my services, underscoring contractual agreement rather than employment. I am compelled to address and review any misinformation suggesting otherwise. 
My involvement must not be distorted nor exploited for ulterior motives, particularly when it involves baseless accusations, malicious lies intended to harm. I appreciate your understanding and must assist that my name not be used to perpetuate false accusations against my husband any longer. Thank you for your attention to this urgent matter. Thank you. Public comment. Is there anyone else for public comment? Anyone on Zoom? Hearing none, we'll close public comment. Department head comments. Hi, Jeremy Sebecki from the Parks Department. I just wanted to let you know uh, we've been uh, out to the Rolling Prairie property that you guys um, handed over to us and and wanted to, to I, I talked to um, Commissioner Rosinski this morning about it and um, what we'd like to do first and foremost is get a plan but but that's coming um, but the other thing we'd like to do is get a roof put on that uh, the office building whatever whatever you, it was before was basically an office building because eventually I think what we're going to end up doing is is converting that into a restroom and small uh, break room office space for staff so it would be an, uh, a public restroom uh, but then uh, you know a small office space or lunch break room or something but uh, I got a price from freeze builders and it was going to be uh, $5,300 and I'd like to to seek permission to go before the council and ask for funds to, to do that for that building. I heard from Randy Novak also, he said that he supports that. I would make a motion that the commissioners support that and uh, permission to go to the council for funding. Second. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thanks. I, I also mentioned that, you know, we had, we did have some damage from the storm uh, yesterday, uh, we had, um, we were out of power out at Red Mill all day yesterday and then, um, the night before and then all day yesterday, uh, lure had quite a bit of trees, quite a few trees down, uh, very localized. So there's one, one small dirt trail that goes from straight through from one trail to another that is basically solid down trees. Um, so we cleared up everything in the other public areas that trail is going to remain closed until we have time to, to work on it, which may even be winter. It's not a critical trail. It's nothing that we um, have to have to get from one place to another. Um, but we, you know, we're working on painting projects and other stuff like that that need to get done while the weather's good. And then, it, you know, there are still hanging trees. So we may be looking to the highway department with a bucket truck and, and that kind of thing. So I um, just wanted to let you know we did. The other parks came through it okay, but but there was some pretty, pretty. I don't know if it was a downwind or a straight line wind, but uh, lure got hit pretty good. Nothing on buildings. We were able to fix some fences on the dog park, but other than that, everything else was, we got lucky. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other department heads? Mike Seitz with the Office of uh, Economic Development. Uh, Monday, we had a joint meeting of the task force with uh, between St. Joe County and in LaPorte County uh, with uh, regards to water and sewer and housing and and going on. And I'd just like to recognize uh, Mitch Bishop and Carlton Bishop on their contribution to the meeting with regards to, uh, again, water and sewer and housing. Um, this morning, I attended the uh, uh, U.S. 30 coalition meeting in Warsaw um, it was really uh, a, a full house in a lot of uh, state uh, legislatures, legislators and, and, and uh, Representative Pressel was there and uh, we heard a presentation uh, with about the regards to the U.S. 30 upgrade and then also yesterday morning um, uh, Carlton Bishop and I uh, had a uh, visitation uh, in the morning so it was a pretty pretty good week thank you thank you the bishop twins <laughs> <laughs> do we have anyone on zoom for department heads 
Madam President, I have uh, two items here. Uh, one, earlier today we received an email about uh, the humidity levels upstairs in the annex, uh, one of which came back at 81%. There's also a, uh, a picture that was attached to the email that shows condensation and water forming and dripping uh, upstairs in the annex. Um, again, urge the commission to our, our whatever long-term solution and permanent fix we come up with is going to take somewhere in the neighborhood of a year uh, to implement. Um, however, in the interim with now humidity levels hitting 80 plus uh, 80 plus percent and water and condensation forming on insulation and other things here. Um, I believe it's incumbent upon us to take some sort of action and the action that um, that I proposed in the past, I would again make a motion to place some uh, humidifier dehumidifiers in the offices upstairs on the third, fourth and fifth floor here to knock down this humidity before any further damage or water uh, issues can crop up. So we have a construction committee and we meet on Mondays and the construction committee is addressing it and we're looking for solutions. Could, could you update the board on what the construction committee has come up with so far? I will have someone come and give a presentation at the next commissioner's meeting. Uh, just simply curious as now we, we keep the, humid, the humidity levels were 60, 70, now 80 plus percent, and we've got water literally forming and dripping upstairs. Um, so something has to be done. And it, it, if my motion's gonna fail for a second, then okay, but I mean, we're- So we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I think you need to take that up with the construction committee. That's why they're there. And who formed okay, this construction hearing, committee? Hearing no, um, the, hearing no there's second. There's another one. There was a construction oh. uh, committee formed at the beginning oh, this was of the construction. Back in 2021? 2021? Okay. The flood didn't happen to 2022, sir. Whoops, 20, 2021. It's, it's committee was formed 2022. Fine. Uh, in any event, um, I do have one other item here. Um, I know we didn't address the, uh, the contract for the auditor's office, but um, and that's fine. Um, I just wanted to pass on the good news to our auditor that uh, in accordance with IC 36-2-2.9.11, uh, Mr. Auditor, you can go ahead and execute that contract. The commissioners have failed in their statutory duties. And uh, again, I'll provide you with this IC code if you'd like, but IC 36-2-2. Dot nine point one one gives you authority under Indiana code to execute that contract on your own and get that done so we can meet this timeline at the end of the month since the board here has failed in its duty. And did you uh, fail in your duty when you signed the contract that was not approved by the commission? When you when you voted to table a contract and then five days later signed it. Which where one? was your failure in there, sir? You single-handedly signed the Nyhart contract by yourself. Any of the three commissioners. So again, Ms. I Cameron, think this so is something that the attorney will have to look at. If Mr. Yes, Mr. Haney told cited that statute. Mr. Stavos is going to act. Should the county want to do something about the action, that'll be something for a later date. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't say I was or wasn't going to act. No, I said if you act. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but thank. Any more comments? Are you good? Um, no, no. I oh. just, um, it's just, it's just um, concerning to me that, that that unfortunately the board sat on this since April. Uh, we have uh, deadlines and requirement and reporting requirements. Um, the same vendor that's been providing services for 13 years, and after uh, testifying uh, in a uh, in a recent court case against uh, involving uh, Shaw Friedman and Tim Stavos, this vendor was. Uh, testified that he was threatened that he would never work in LaPorte County again by Shaw Friedman. And now here we see this vendor being thrown out um, and jeopardizing our standing with our TIF districts and other things. Um, it, it, it's concerning. I, I, I appreciate that, but and, and we can handle that at some point in time. Um, I did see the contract. I believe that at one point in time, the contract was with SEH, and now it's a different vendor, even though that person worked under SEH. But that's all I know about this now. Yeah. It was said, and um, Mr. Stavos, you'll do what, what you're going to do? 
your statements are correct. I would just point out the the bid is a 20% reduction roughly from what it was under SEH. It is a low price. Uh, it also happens to be a continuation of the same vendor relationship dating back to uh, at least the previous auditor, possibly even earlier. Okay, thank well, you. Well, here's the thank problem. You. The vendor... The discussion's over. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you, Madam Any Chair. other department head? Hearing none, we're closing department head. Request. Good job. We have no request, no old business, new business. A, consider MOU with uh, NERPC, Lake, and Porter Counties. Mitch Bishop will be presenting. Good evening, Commissioners. <clears throat> this is regarding a USDA Safe Streets for All grant program that would provide us with a road safety plan when completed. What that is, is all the unincorporated area a consultant would review all the roads and all the crash history and then recommend best, best practices, not best practices, best practices and um, improvements to those intersections. And now, this is a two-step process. That's why you see the MOU. So Lake County, I had a meeting with Lake Porter and Nerpsey, and they all want to do this. The first step, though, is to do this road safety plan. So we got a cost of around, I think it's 500000 The grant would cover eighty. <laughs> our responsibility would be 20, and that would be split four ways. The Port County share, um, and then Lake and Porter and Nerpsey, uh, all at 30,000, and Nerpsey would have 10. So it's 30 for Lake, 30 for Porter, 30 for LaPorte. Nerpsey would pick up 10,000, but they would also do all the administrative paperwork. So that's usually something that's, I, I take care of that mostly for the county when it comes to capital improvement projects. So they're covering lion's share of all that. Um, so this is the first step in the process. I know it was reviewed by uh, attorney guy. Um, so I think it's a good program. We're gonna end up with a safety plan and we're gonna use those. Would, we would go after a second phase, which would be the implementation plan. That's implementation plan grant. Then we would hire engineers to make these improvements to these particular roadways in our county. So it's pretty robust. I think it's a good program, especially if we're sharing the cost four ways. So you I need think to go to the council. I spoke to Charity, and she has money already, so it wouldn't be um, additional appropriation. Motion to approve the MOU. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Okay. Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Consider Weaver Consultants Pacer Road Rating Slash ac ac Asset Management Contract. And this is a requirement that actually comes before you every two years. This is for us to apply for community crossings grants. We must do an asset management plan of all of our roads and a conditions rating for all of our roads and submit that to LTAP downstate. And if we don't do that, it's cut and dry. We can't apply for community crossings. So this is a two-year contract. It's, it's two years because um, the state requires uh, the vendor to cover um, half the county roads in one year and the other half the second year, and then provide a report every every year, though. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Consider Thank ordinance. You. Thank you. Consider ordinance re reducing speed limit on 500 West. Jay Sullivan will be presenting. Madam President, I do have a question. Was this presented to you all before today? The, um, the ordinance. The ordinance. I the speed limit? Diane, I don't know. Yeah, did you all have three days to re review it? If not, it's and you choose to move forward on it, it's just going to need to be read into the record. That's, that's all. Yeah, when did you send that to us, Jay? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I, I was going to say it's been a okay. while. Then you can, should you choose, you can always do it by title only. Well, this is a uh, Indut has requested the county put a forty mile per hour speed limit um, just on the north side of two. They're um, in the process now of doing some investigative work. And they're going to put a roundabout at that location, and uh, they had asked us to do that. I think it's on four hundred. What did I have to look? I'm sorry, I didn't pay for it. 500? Okay. 
502, the intersection of 502. The south side is already at, at 40 mile an hour, so the north side is on the approach is where they want to change that to 40 also. Make a motion to approve the uh, ordinance. Do I have a number on that, Diane? By title only. So the first Mr. Marzinski, the first motion will be a motion to read by title only. Yes. And, and then he'll read it and then. So we have a motion to read by title only. Do read we have title. a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Please read by title. This is an ordinance setting a new speed limit on 500 West from State Road 2 to 1,000 feet south. Motion to approve. No, no. Motion to approve by title only. Second. All those in favor say aye. aye. Th this is only reading. I mean, you don't have to vote. Right. You're good. Okay. We'll bring it up next month. Thank you. The, ra the roundabout's not done yet, so. So consider the quote for concrete deck seal for bridge 186. Yes, this is the methyl cyclite that uh, NDOT recommended that they use on bridges where they have cracks like this. And uh, they've had good luck with it. And so we got a couple quotes and uh, the port construction was a little quote. And it's a polymer coating that's gonna go on the bridge. It'll seal the cracks, it'll penetrate the cracks. It'll also, because um, it's an epoxy, it will, a polymer, it'll uh, bind the, the loose concrete together, hopefully, you know, keep it from cracking anymore. Then we're gonna put some sand on top of it to get some friction coating on it. Motion to approve. Second. So we have a motion and a second. Any questions? I, I do have a question on this. So is this going to in any way affect the life of the bridge? That's, I've got mixed um, feedback on that. Uh, the port construction says that they doubt very seriously we all would have to go back and put another coating on because the, the, it is in a high traffic area. Um, the areas that they've put it on NDOT, the bridges are a lot more traveled. And they have to go back maybe every 15 years and reapply the, the, uh, the concrete. I was guaranteed by all the engineering firms that have looked at in our inspections of the bridge that it is structurally sound, fully capable of handling any loads that it was designed for originally. This is the top deck that's that's in question, and obviously everybody's not a, not happy about it. But it's a finger pointing, pointing process, and yeah, we, a guy we had that meeting, meeting, and um, the engineers uh, just couldn't say what was going on there. To think it might be because some of the area was a wetland and they had to extend the pressure up with the um, crane so but they didn't think that it would impact the life of the bridge we've been following this they, case you, for a long time. long time yeah they did the i think the most important thing that that was determined was that the the concrete is expanded and, and contracts due to the heat and, and temperature differential concrete actually will expand and contract and there's a, in the design of the bridge, it's called an end vent. And it's kind of a keyway for the top of the deck and it'll float back and forth and expand and contract. And if that was locked because it wasn't constructed properly or designed properly, there would, those cracks would have been a lot larger than what they were. So they determined that that wasn't locked. There was some question on whether there was some obstruction that caused these cracks or the crane that caused the cracks or concrete mix. There was a lot of faint, nobody knew what happened. So the, the problem is, it is who are you gonna go after? You go after everybody. And, about 1.4, 1.5 million probably to replace the deck. So that'd be a big issue. And NDOT is comfortable that the longevity of the bridge will not be compromised, you know, by putting this on the, on the surface. So we have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay. We have, um, at the end of the meeting, I have a motion to adjourn. We get uh, thank oh the um thank you commissioners we have the we have sorry. the generator yes we got three so consider appointment of the animal shelter director good evening commissioners Monique Thomas HR director over the past few weeks myself along with other animal shelter direct uh, board board members. Um, interviewed and selected candidates for the new director at the Jane Bernard Animal Shelter. After conducting phone interviews and never narrowing the candidates down, there were five candidates that were interviewed. Uh, two were internal. While all of the candidates posed great qualities, phenomenal animal hand handling skills, 
um, the board decided to uh, go with Miss Emily Levescu. Um, she was the selected candidate, and at this time, on behalf of the Jane Bernard Animal Shelter Committee and board uh, board members, we'd like to recommend Emily Levescu as the next animal di shelter director. Make a motion that we support the committee selection. Uh, unfortunately, having just received this application uh, an, an hour before close of business today, um, I know it was sent over here by Councilman Novak uh, to Commissioner Marzinski uh, Monday night, uh, about 5.30, but I didn't receive it until, uh, according to this anyway, I didn't receive it until an hour before close today. Um, I didn't have a chance to contact uh, this individual or ask any questions or have any that's what the okay, committee so we did. Have a motion. We have a selection we have a motion. committee. We have a motion on the table. Did, did, um, I'll did step have, down and I'll, have, I'll second. Did we have an explanation for some of the uh, dates, uh, timelines here of employment, things like that? Were you able to meet with this individual in person or did you meet with them on the phone? I'm not on the committee. Yeah, we should intentionally did not have a commissioner on the committee. Randy Novak set up the committee. They interviewed everybody. They had their discussion and this is what they came up with. All we have to do is support their, their uh, Decision. And this is just a rec it's a recommendation yeah. from they did all the, the, the all the work yes but so all we have to do is, is support uh, their otherwise decision. we just have a recommendation we have no other Attorney, information can you explain how like on certain com on certain um well it, it's just a recommendation it's your guys call correct so but <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm not saying this it's not like the only the only department we have several departments within our government that we have a committee or we have a board that will make a recommendation to us and then they bring that recommendation to us and so this is not like a unique situation this is kind of this is something that we do quite regularly with a lot of different departments so we have a recommendation we have a motion on the table um do we have a second I'm just trying to figure out if we have any other information. My, my biggest curiosity is why we have to go to Plant City, Florida uh, and pass over either folks in-house or uh, individuals here in the area. I can explain that to you at a, um, behind, at a later time if you'd like to know, Mr. Haney. I, I can explain that to you. I appreciate that. Um, at a later date. I mean, okay. So we have a motion, and I'll step down and I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, I'll abstain due to lack of information. Thank you. If you can congratulate her for us, we appreciate it. All right, thanks. Consider generator replacement at the Juvie uh, Service Center. Yep. Can I have you like me to talk to this? Yes, please. Okay, so this was before the council. The council is going to appropriate not to exceed two, uh, three hundred thousand uh, dollars. This uh, generator is needed. There's a thirty-one a week lead time. As you know, that you're paying a rental fee of 12 grand a month right now to have a generator at the service center. Uh, we went and this bid was procured through Sourcewell. Sourcewell is a, a Minnesota governmental agency which, which meets all the bidding requirements of the state of Indiana because it is a state agency. So uh, the actual equipment and the work to install it is all uh, included in the QPA, and it came in at two hundred and thirty-eight thousand three hundred and eight dollars, which is less than the two fifty that we heard a couple of months ago, not to exceed. So um, it's going, going before the council on Monday to get appropriated, and it needs to be your approval in order to get this uh, ordered. So, what would be the pleasure of the board? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, and our last one would be consider approval to proceed with the next two phases of rehabilitation work on the Franklin Street Bridge. Good evening, commissioners. Um, I'm presenting to you before tonight to ask permission to uh, send WJE a purchase order for their prof professional services for the fall of 2024, spring of 2025, and the fall of 2025, spring of 2026 professional services work. So it's a pass-through agreement through our firm. Um, there's no markup on their services in accordance with our request for qualifications. Um, I'm just 
asking if I can um, execute that contract on their behalf, which would allow them to assist us in designing the plan and spec for the work. And then we would, on behalf of LaPorte County, we would send that out for bid for the field work. Motion to approve. Uh, thank you for bringing this back before us as it yes. was kind of did fall back in mm -hmm. the scope of what was already approved, but just for reconsideration, appreciate that. Thank you. And I will second. So we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 We have one more. Thank you, Commissioner. And that would be the uh, request for the uh, Encore Society to hold their annual or quarterly meeting. Uh, at the uh, Judge Alavizos' office. He supports it. It's his deal. I make motion we allow him. If the judge is in favor of him using his courtroom for that, I will gladly second. So we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 So now I'll look for an, uh, a motion for adjournment. To adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Have a nice week, everyone.